So I want to ask you, Olya, what's it like to be a Ukrainian living in the world right now? Sad. Very sad. Um, do you have family in Ukraine? My grandma, my uncle, who has three young kids under five, and my godmother, who lives in Kiev, whose husband and son are both in Bakhmut. And I feel like there's a whole, a whole generation of parents that have been wiped out because there's lots of kids that are that we're cooking for today that are here sleeping in the churches or wherever they can speak no language that they can understand. It's yeah. like they're in another foreign land and they have no parents. Yeah, I can't even imagine because all the people in Ukraine, all they wanted to do is live in their own country. And, and unfortunately, their lives are being destroyed because somebody wants more power and more land. It's, that's all it is. It's money, it's power, it's, it's crazy. And I, all I want to do is cook for these kids. I don't want to judge anybody. No, who are we to judge? Who are we to judge? But having said that, what Putin doing is just it's evil. It's unbelievable. What he says about the country that, and his excuse to attack it is just ridiculous because there is no, there are no Nazis. We have a Jewish president that 75% of the country voted for. So it's preposterous for him to say that. It's ludicrous. Yeah. Just, it's bananas. And it's well, an excuse. It's an excuse. Well, I'm glad you're here. And we're going to walk around with the kiddos and give them some love. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for sharing. No problem. Joey's Food Fight. <laughs> Cooking for the kiddos. This is great. I love my brother. We got spinach. Are you a volunteer? Yes. And you're an alpha and a beta. Yes. Say your name again. Chris. Thanks for helping. Potatoes for the oven. We got cheeses for the eggs and spinach. And Olya is making walnut waffles. Hey, Chris, you're slicing. What kind of cheeses? Do you remember? Swiss and brie. And say cheddar. Just a lie to the camera. Lie. Did you uh, slice yeah. any cheddar? There it is. Look. I slice this very thinly, as you can see. Yeah. Not, no, you shredded that cheddar. Yes. Look at Beta rocking it out with the potatoes. And Brother Greg is roasting spinach. We got the ham steaks. We are we're going to make breakfast potatoes. Pour some oil in here. Red skin potatoes. This is extra virgin oil. Well, this is called three tablespoons. More, 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 more beautiful. Now the seasoning. Grab a handful of seasoning. And just start sprinkling. Go. More, 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 perfect. A little more, okay. Now put a little cheese in there. This is Asiago cheese. Look at that. <laughs> little more. I'm gonna throw these in a 500 degree oven. We got salt, pepper, virgin oil, Asiago cheese. Ready, set. Bang, that pan's too small. But I don't care, I'm gonna throw it in the oven anyways. Let's go, you wanna grab the pan? There you go. Oh, Joey, can I have your autograph? You can have my autograph, but it's $25 per autograph. <laughs> By the one you did it with the money. Uh, I'm going to donate it to kiddos all over the world. Okay, you go. Hi, Doug. Hey. Doug, Chicago Health Initiative. Tell me a little bit about Jacqueline Hayes, if you could. So Jacqueline Hayes is a realtor that worked on uh, Oak Street, Nine Mile. Hold on one second. And about 20 years ago, when they were redoing the underneath of Wacker Drive and everyone was pushed up onto the street, Jacqueline was having to step over people to show the uh, uh, the retail on, on Oak Street, Magmile, and other places like that. And she thought, well, there's got to be a better way to do this. So she started the HELP initiative, started off just serving meals, and today we serve meals, resources, peer groups, and we do resources in about nine other places in the city of Chicago, and St. Paul's is one of them.
Churches all over the city helping out. Nuns are the superpowers of churches, making sure stuff gets done. I really hope to meet some of the nuns. But I know the nuns play a strong role in making sure the church does the right things. I feel like the nuns, like all women, are the strength in this world. Women power. <laughs>